Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of a brand new product and it is this right here from the brand called By Wish Trend. This is their brand new first ever sunscreen that they have created and it is called the UV Defense Moist Cream which is obviously SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. Now for those of you that may not be aware I am a Wish Trend affiliate which means now and then I get to try out some of their latest products prior to launch. I get a significant amount of time where I'm able to test something out before I can then come to you guys and let you know what my thoughts are. So like I said, this is their first ever venture into sunscreens. By Wish Trend is not only a company that has its own brand of skincare, but they also carry a bunch of other skincare brands as well, such as I'm From, Dear Claire's, etc. Now this sunscreen in particular was created in the Amore Pacific Labs in Korea. Now for those of you that don't know who Amore Pacific are, they're actually one of the largest makeup and skincare companies in Korea and they dominate pretty much half of the market I would say. They have brands such as Laneige, Innisfree, Etude House, um, Aridome as well. So to be able to create something in their labs that basically means some of the best ingredients have been used and it has been created and tested out in some of the best skincare labs in South Korea. So just to show you what the box itself looks like, it's just a classic standard cardboard box. Each time that By Wish Trend releases a new product, it's always in like a nice, cool, very on-trend sort of colour. So we've got the orange box right here. And then you open it up, and then on the inside is the actual sunscreen itself. 50 grams, which is almost the standard amount for most sunscreens. And as previously with a lot of their other products, it's in this recyclable uh, container, and then you just press it and the product itself just kind of comes out. You can see that right there. So I'm just gonna share with you guys what it actually looks like applied up close to the skin. So here you can see it doesn't have a runny kind of texture. As it is a moisture cream, meaning it's like a moisturizer, it has that same kind of lightly whipped kind of consistency. And as you can see, it blends into a nice kind of soft satiny sort of finish and there is absolutely no white cast whatsoever. My arm is actually quite tanned at the moment because I came back from Italy. So you can see what it actually looks like against my skin tone, which is actually darker on this part of my body. It has almost no fragrance at all, uh, which I actually prefer because when it's hot and sweaty, you don't need additional scents all over your face. And fragrance can also be a little bit irritating to some people. Now, before I go into the ins and outs of this sunscreen a little bit more, I will say that at the moment, I have just cleansed my face with a normal uh, soothing cleanser. If you can see, I've got like these red marks on my neck. Uh, that's because I shaved my face last night, you guys, and I obviously pressed a little bit too hard with my razor. So my skin is a little bit delicate at the moment. So other than cleanser, I haven't actually applied anything else to my skin. Also because my skin is still quite sensitive to the touch, so I haven't applied any toner either. The first thing that I'm going to actually use, which you can actually buy from By Wish Trend, is this Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. It's an intensive soothing care cream. I've shared this with you guys in the past. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. This is not a moisturizer by any means. It's not supposed to be. It is in the name. It is a soothing cream. So what it's meant to do is calm down irritated skin. My skin is obviously slightly sensitized at the moment because I've run a razor over it. And all this basically does will just make sure that my skin just stops going so red and it will also stop any soreness like even I applied it on my neck last night so it doesn't feel sore it just looks a little bit red at the moment so I'm just gonna very generously apply this to my neck area which obviously will get the sun on it as well so it's always important to cover every visible area that is going to be in the sun with any kind of product that can protect your skin especially mine at the moment which is a little bit sensitized by tomorrow this redness will go but it's only because it's been within 24 hours since I um, shaved my face. With the Claire's Calming Cream as well, it just has a slight tackiness before it just dries down. But again, it's not supposed to be a moisturizer, so you should never use that in replacement of a moisturizer. Now, in terms of the actual brand new UV Defense Moist Cream, by the way, I do apologize for any background noise. It's quite hot in London. It's the weekend. People are mowing their lawns, police sirens, it is London, so I've got all my doors and windows open, so I apologise for any outside noise. So, I went to Venice recently, and it was very, very hot. It was 29 to 30 degrees. I went there with my family. 
Um, I'm almost 40 years old. I went with two people in their 60s and one in their 70s and I made all three of them use this. They are not the kind of people who generally use sunscreen, but the one in their 70s, my dad, he actually got a sunburn on his arm because he didn't put sunscreen on his arm. I made him use this on his face and his neck and his ears. Lo and behold, his skin was perfectly protected. And if anything, he got a nice, slightly even tan. Same with my mum and my aunt as well, who are both in their 60s. So for those of you out there that have got mature skin, you would definitely love to use something like this. Now, I didn't take a moisturizer to Venice with me because I knew I would be trying this out and testing this out for the first time. This is great for doubling up as a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. I know that some people don't generally like to do that, especially if you are in the know when it comes to skincare, but this is a sunscreen rather than a moisturizer. It just so happens that it gives you the same hydrating and moisturizing properties as a moisturizer. And when you're on holiday, we ain't got time to be faffing around with this skincare, that skin. We want quick, fast because we want to go out and enjoy ourselves. So I actually used this for the full four days I was there in replacement of a moisturizer as well as using it as a sunscreen. And I can't tell you guys how my skin looked amazing. It looked radiant. It was protected. Sorry, that's my squeaky door. Moisturized, hydrated, absolutely no uh, flakiness, no sunburn, it protected me beautifully. So the way that I applied it is just squirting it out onto my face right here. Obviously, you can be a little bit more hygienic than I'm being, but this is mine. I didn't apply this to my family's face like this, by the way, I applied it to their hands and I actually just rubbed it all over their face. So go in quite generously as you should. And because my skin is quite sensitive at the moment, I'm going in even more extra. And here we go. So, as you can see, it blends in really, really easily. And it has that same sort of feel as a moisturiser. But one thing I do like about this is it's not one of those sunscreens that gives like a greasy sort of finish. Bear in mind that when you do apply sunscreen, you should do it about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes before you actually go outside. You don't go outside just like this because it has to obviously settle into the skin. And not just that, I also will apply a full face of makeup on top afterwards, which I did do. So bear in mind that no matter how much makeup you apply, this works beautifully underneath makeup. And you can take my word for it. As like I said, I did take this with me to Venice and I had to obviously look fabulous out there while I was there and this worked perfectly fine underneath my makeup. It didn't cause my makeup to go sweaty. It didn't cause it to flake everywhere. It didn't cause my makeup to move. It didn't cause it to go greasy. It didn't cause it to go sliding around everywhere. Nothing moved on my face, despite the fact that I've got this quite moisturizing sunscreen underneath. So this is how your skin should look like once it is completely covered. As you can see, I've got a nice glow going on. I have got a decent amount on, but this is typically how much you should apply, especially in the summer months. Now, for those of you that have got dry skin, you will definitely love this. I've got normal to combination skin, so I do have the tendency to go greasy around my T-zone area. However, I did not find that that happened with this at all. This did not cause any kind of separation of my makeup. And bear in mind, I was in very, very hot temperatures and I was out and about walking every single day, doing the usual kind of hundreds of activities that you do when you are on holiday. So I'm just gonna quickly read to you what By Wish Trend have said about this product. So it says it was tested three times under strict conditions proven to protect from four types of stressors, UVA, UVB, infrared radiation, and blue light. Besides that, it grips onto the skin with a soft hydrating texture, as you can see for yourself, and it leaves the skin moisturized yet breathable. This is a sunscreen that does not only protect the skin against sun damage, but provides moisture and line improvements. And what that means is because it contains panthenol, which is there for hydration and moisturizing, and adenosine, which is there for wrinkle improvement, for anti-aging and that sort of thing because we all know that at the end of the day the sun is our friend for many reasons but when it comes to our face it really is not and it can actually 
promote premature aging on a lot of people who don't tend to protect their skin so having a sunscreen which contains this these two kind of ingredients will definitely make sure that your skin stays supple and youthful it contains a bunch of other chemical ingredients because at the end of the day is a sunscreen but i'll be honest i don't know what half of them are i'll read them out to you forgive me if i can't say them properly because i'm, I'm not a scientist homo salate diethylamino hydroxy benzyl hexyl benzoate um yeah you know what i'll just give up you get it it's got chemical ingredients to make sure that your skin is fully protected from the sun so this is going to be launching in the next couple of days i will link all the information in the info bar below but for now i just wanted you guys to see exactly how my skin looks my skin looks glowy it looks supple it looks youthful it doesn't look shiny and greasy but bear in mind i literally had it on my face for a couple of minutes the other thing which is really important is you saw me apply over my eyes which is very important because People who get a lot of dark circles is as a result of sun damage. You should always try to apply sunscreen around the delicate areas of your eyes because that's where you can get dark circles as well as uh, aging, as well as wrinkles, fine lines, that sort of thing. It's because people don't apply sunscreen around their eyes. And I understand why a lot of people don't is because sunscreens can burn people's eyes. But you know what? This doesn't. Look at my eyes. Do they look red, raw, watery or anything like that? And you've seen me apply all around my eyes eyes all over the lashes all of that and it is absolutely perfectly fine there is nothing that is irritating my eyes I've got very sensitive eyes I also wear contact lenses so for those of you that have got those kind of concerns regarding this sunscreen you don't have to worry at all so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do my makeup and I'm going to come back so you guys can see what this looks like with a pile of makeup on top just so that you guys can see that despite having combination skin borderline oily this still does not move around on my face throughout the day. Hello, I'm back. My makeup is complete, as you can see, and wow. All I can say in terms of applying makeup freshly after you've applied this to your face is that your foundation applies like a liquid dream. The way that you can see that it just glides onto the face and it's just smoothed everything out. My skin looks glowing, it looks lovely. It's been set with powder and I do have setting spray on, which I would always advise when wearing any kind of foundation, to be honest, because it just helps lock everything in place. But because I've got this underneath, my skin just looks flawless. It's glowing, it looks amazing. My skin is protected. And this definitely has to be my new favorite sunscreen that I'm gonna continuously use over the summer until it finishes. Generally, you should use sunscreen every single day it helps with anti-aging it helps with dark spots it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with so many different things it helps protect your skin against potential melanoma so there are so many reasons why you need to protect your skin by using sunscreen this is also great for my deeper skin toned gals now bear in mind that so many deeper skin tones don't use sunscreens because of the whole white cast attached to it which can happen with quite a few sunscreens even in 2022 however you saw the way that that this applies it completely turns invisible you cannot see any kind of shade changing or anything like that at all so it is perfect to use if you've got deeper skin and if you have got deeper skin yes you should protect it from the sun as well yes your skin doesn't burn as quickly as for example somebody with a little bit lighter skin but it can still get damaged and why would you want to do that to yourself and another reason why I obviously like this is just that I can skip using moisturizer when I've got this. If I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to do a full skincare routine, throwing this into the mix really, really helps. So that's it for my review of the brand new By Wish Trend UV Defense and Moisture Cream SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon.